what's for dinner video, I think this will be my last one, three is plenty. Um, tonight I'm having tilapia, broiled tilapia. I'm going to broil it in my toaster oven. Earlier today while I was at my computer writing, I baked butternut squash and roasted some green beans. So those will be my vegetables. And I think I'll have a cup of fresh strawberries as my little side of fruit. For the tilapia, which is just a frozen plain store brand, I sprayed this foil with non-fat spray. And I haven't done anything yet. Um, the spice I'm going to use is this Emerald's Bio Bayou, Bayou Blast, which I have just a little bit left, but I really like this spice on fish. So, a lot less than I thought. Oh, came out in the chunk. Okay, so some of this spice, as much as you like, I have to move it around. It came out in a little flop. Okay, and I'm going to, this is a small piece of fish, so I'm going to add something to it. I'm adding onions and tomatoes. My mom used to do this with fish and chicken when I was growing up. Actually, she had sliced onion, not chopped onion, but anyways. Onion and tomato, and I'm going to put it under the broiler. And I'm not, I don't plan on turning it over. Um, so I'll broil this for a few minutes until it's done. Sorry about banging. And then on my plate, I will warm up a regular serving size, like a half a cup of the green beans and the squash. And I will show you the finished plate when I have it. Your fish shouldn't take too long to cook because it will probably be thin. Okay, it's done. It may not look as appealing as I wanted it to because I think it would be better to cook the fish a little bit first and then put the tomatoes and onions on. I had to pull them off because they were getting too mushy before my fish was done. And now I put them back on the fish so it doesn't look as pretty as it would um, if you were being served in a four or five star restaurant. But this is just my little old apartment and it needs to be anything straight out sometimes. Um, so, I have warmed up my vegetables in the microwave. My fish is waiting for well. Let's see, I'll just bring it over. The fish is ready. And my fruits are right here. I'm using a spatula. So I'll get this all plated up as they say. And I'll bring the camera over to show you. I think it's going to be quite good. Um I was going to say something, but, oh, yes. I have butternut squash tonight. <clears throat> a couple nights ago, I had sweet potato. They're not the same. They're just both orange. <laughs> um, the sweet potato has a different density. It's starchy. It has lots of vitamins, but so does butternut squash. They're both sweet, but in a different way. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I like them both. Butternut squash is less calorically dense, so you could have more of it than you would a sweet potato if you were under some kind of caloric, um, I don't want to say restriction, plan, limit, whatever. If you had 50 calories to spend on a vegetable, you could have more butternut squash than you could sweet potato. That's what I'm trying to say. So butternut squash, green beans, fish, and a little bit of strawberries there, and um, no saturated fat in this meal. I don't think there's any in the fish. Um, good source of protein, nice and lean, um, a nice meal.